So here we are, in episode two of the Scarlet Workshop, where we, well, me, and well, I'll accept any input. I don't know how long this series is going to go, but um, we are working on character races as we create the Scarlet System, an RPG made for Scarlet Acres. So what kind of races do we need? Well, we need a base. Humans are always a good base. The Scarlet Acres uh, comic also has sort of zombies, but they're not zombies. They're zombies with souls. I've decided to call them deadish. Uh, obviously, those are raised by vampires or uh, necromancers. And let's see what else. Oh yes, we're going to need a ghost. And finally, way later on, uh, although I do plan to introduce a ghost, um, I think we'll introduce witches. And we'll see what we can do with that. Why is it so important that it looks good? Why is it so important that it looks good? Okay. For the most part, race is going to determine what maximum and minimum amounts of attributes and healths will be. So, meat goes from 1 to 10 for health. There's no reason it should be lower than 1. Sinew will go from 1 to 10. Brains will go from 1 to 10. Heart will go from 1 to, you guessed it, 10. Blood will go from 1 to 10. Actually, just 10. Will will go to 10. And sanity will be anywhere from 0 to 100. 99. 0 to 99. All right. They're up the earth, aren't they? So there we go. Humans. Huzzah! They're about as basic as you can get. There are no special circumstances involved in here. I guess zombies would probably be lower, but why would you play a zombie? Actually, zombies can't think, so they're not part of this. Ghosts are. They're basically souls without bodies, so that makes sense. So, okay. Deadish. Nice little picture of Flora there. All right. Deadish are basically zombie humans, which are slightly stupider. We're going to say they're slightly stupider. And maybe slightly slower. Heart's going to be 1 to 10. Meat's going to be pretty high, though. If they're going to be slightly stupider, let's call them 1 to 8. Eight is pretty big by human standards. I mean, average is going to be five, but it's not ten. They can't ever be the smartest human. And same with Sinew. You know, they're, they're kind of cobbled together, sort of Frankenstein. A uh, little bit faster than zombies, which we'll, we'll get to zombies later um, when we start creating monsters, unthinking critters. But yeah, it is... You know, they're, they're not the best. What they do is they make up for it in um, 
all around endurance and strength. Let's say 1 to 14. Goes up quite a bit. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to this. One of the things I didn't mention up here in humans was limit and luck. Obviously, when making characters, you want to fucking keep limit at at least six. At least a six. In fact, let's make sure people do that. Because if that isn't six or higher, you've got problems. They're not particularly more or less lucky than humans. They might have a better limit, actually. I'll probably set the limit to whatever their max uh, meat is. If we take two points here, and we put two points here and here, we could say 12 and 12. That makes them pretty tough. I'll say 13 and 13. Yeah. Okay, sanity can only go up to 90%. I mean, you're dead. You gotta kind of live with that. We'll keep Will the same as well. That'll do for now. I don't even know how to describe deadish. They're kind of based on fire. So... There we go. They can't replenish their own blood. They're dead. They don't grow anything. Okay, so what else did I say? Okay, vampires. One thing for, we know for sure, their luck's gonna be normal. Their limit's gonna be significantly higher. I'll wait on that. Their meat and sinew are gonna be significantly higher than two, but not necessarily their brains. They're not super smart. I mean, they're, they're about as smart as humans can be. Their heart's gonna be down, though. Yeah, they can be charismatic and everything, but they kind of have a problem feeling. So we're gonna reduce that down to like eight. That's their max. They are natural necromancers. They're gonna need a lot of blood. But they can only heal by drinking it. Simple enough. Did I do the willpower on this? Yeah. Hmm. Now we'll keep their will at 10. They suffer from the same problem as deadish. They can never really get that extra bit. In fact, let's lower that again. Let's lower that to 80. They can't really be very sane critters price you pay for being dead. We'll say they're as strong as deadish, so meat goes up to 13. Did I say 13? Yes, I did. And we'll also say that sinew can go all the way up to 13. Which means, of course, their limit goes all the way up to 13. What are they paying for that? Well, they're paying for that because they can't heal themselves without blood. That's a pretty big hit to their charisma already. They're paying for that with a hit to their sanity. And they're not real great with... Hmm. Hmm. 
Let's also reduce the amount of luck they can have. Which is a pretty big deal. Did I mention? Luck is bids that you can spend that... They don't replenish every session, but you can just spend them for free. They don't count against your limit. That looks pretty good. There we go, there's vampires. So, alright, we've got humans, deadish, and vampires. We've got one major one to go. Ghosts. Ghosts will be interesting. I have to remember what it looks like to, to ghost. I forgot ghost. All I need is one picture and I can do the rest from that. Boom! Ghosts, meat, zero. Sinew, zero. Brains will say one to ten, they're only human. Heart will say one to thirteen. Mostly because, man, that's all they got going for them is charisma. Limit, hmm. I'll say one to fifteen. Luck, one to ten. Okay, they can't have any meat or sinew. That's kind of important. Blood, zero. Willpower maximum, infinite. Yeah, start at like 10. Maybe we'll compromise, say we'll start at 15. This will make sense in a second. Huh. No, that's 15 is a bad minimum. We'll say zero to 80. Fat is fine. Be careful with the carbs, man. Carbs will get you every time. Okay, so these are ghosts. I had rules for ghosts hidden somewhere. Let's see what I got. How do they replenish their willpower? Actually, their sinew would be 1 to 10, wouldn't it? Because it's nimbleness and dexterity. Hmm. Is will refilled? Because there's no max on will. But they don't sleep. So I should probably mention that. Okay, I have a little thing here, like another set of notes. I wonder if I put it in there. So I should probably do Sinio, place of meat. Physical activity. There we go. Hmm. It didn't say how they replenish their willpower. Let's set a limit, because infinite willpower is kind of rough. Let's 
set it to 25. Or 24, that's a full day's sleep. But ghosts don't sleep. Hmm. We'll say they have a fetish. And every hour they're near that fetish. We'll heal one willpower. There we go. Up to a maximum of 24. Instead of every hour they are near it, we'll say every hour they rest near it. And that's it for that. I do have witches. Do I really want to add an extra race right now? No. Let's not do that just yet. Canonically, uh, Doornail only has seven witches, so. Six or seven witches. About right. And they're all like crazy powerful. So I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this episode good here. And next episode, let's go into character creation. Yeah, that sounds good.